supposed to, but every now and then even the best craftsman leaves some tools where they can develop some rust. Perfect example are these way tubes right here. They were kept in an unheated garage, and when it got cool outside, water condensed on the way tubes, and they developed a really severe patina of rust, as you can see. Uh, ordinarily, you'd almost have to scrape and sand this off, but I'm going to show you a way you can remove this rust with no elbow grease invested. I've taken a three inch PVC pipe, about five and a half, maybe a little less feet long, and I put a cap on the bottom and a clean out here on the top. Then I filled the pipe with water and I put the bucket under the pipe because when I do what I'm about to do next, this water is going to overflow. I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to stuff it down in the mouth of the pipe and into the water. Now the reason for that rag is because the next thing I put in here is the weight tube. And I'm going to be able to put the weight tube in slowly, but not so slowly. And see, there's the water overflowing. Not so slowly that when I, there we go, that when I drop this, it may actually, oops, it overflow a little bit more there, it may actually break the cap on the bottom of the tube. But with the with the rag, it shouldn't. Here we go. There we go. Hit. It hits solid, but it uh, it's not running out the bottom. Okay. And we've got the way tube in a column of water. Now I add the secret ingredient, a potato. I've cut up a potato, and I'm just going to put it in the water. More water is going to. Uh, Go out. There we go. Bubble, 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 toil and trouble. Okay, there we there we go. Now a little bit of I'm gonna swap out some of the water so there's a little bit of air there, and then I'll put the top back on. In, in another century I would have been burned at the stake for this. <clears throat> now, we're going to sit this in a corner of the shop where it's heated so that the potato can slowly disintegrate and do its work and in two weeks we'll come back and we'll take a look and see what's happened to the rust. Well, the curtain has fallen for 14 days to denote the passing of two weeks. I just took this tube with the uh, rusty 10ER way tube outside, dumped out the water, and then uh, rinsed it out thoroughly with a garden hose. Uh, there were no potatoes left. All the potatoes had uh, apparently gone to potato heaven. However, what was left was a, was a huge stink. And it looks like that stink is what takes the uh, rust off the tube. I'm going to uh, take this out now. Now it's partially dried, but the, the rust, as you can see, is very loose now. And uh, I'll take a bit of water and a rag and uh, just begin to wipe this down. And the rust is just coming right off. Uh, look at that. Just look at that right there. So. Uh, get most of this rust off with the water. Ooh. <laughs> That's something? Look at this. The rust has just, has just come off. Now I'm going to take a, uh, uh, a brass wire brush, get some of the stubborn parts. Those are just, those are just lifting right off of here. Whoa. Everything's coming out but the stain where the rust um, has left some dark spots. 
that is probably black oxide and it won't hurt anything. But, uh, okay, wipe that away. And then the, I'll follow with uh, some Scotch Brite. And the Scotch Brite is taking the stains right off. Why don't you guys come back in about 15 minutes and I'll have something pretty to show you. All right. There it is. I've uh, rubbed it. Uh, it's really neat the way the uh, uh, when you apply the Scotch Brite, the uh, the uh, stains just sort of wipe right off. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, uh, almost looks like a new tube. There's a there's a few little uh, spots where the rust uh, started to pit a little bit, and uh, that would actually be need to be ground out. But the rest of it is is just a, a nice a shiny silver metal. Now, just to, to show you what we uh, what we accomplished here, this is what we started with, okay? And that's what we got. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Look at the look at the, look at that. The paint has removed all that stuff. Okay, let me get it. Let me get there. You go. Something else. And that, folks, is how you remove rust with potatoes. I'm Nick Angler, director of the Shopsmith National Woodworking Academy. And if you'd like to see some more helpful ti uh, tips on how to remove rust and how to prevent it in the first place, come see Sawdust Session number 14. At Shopsmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects, from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.